A very strong anticyclone over the North Atlantic has been wreaking havoc on the weather across Europe. On Wednesday, December 20th, this large high-pressure area reached its maximum intensity of 1,052 millibars. The close proximity between Storm Pia and the high-pressure zone created a very intense corridor of extreme winds, which barreled through the North Sea and into parts of the UK, Scandinavia, and Central Europe earlier this week. But on the other side of the Atlantic, it drove deep moisture continuously into Newfoundland, Canada, resulting in extreme rainfall. Even though the high pressure is gradually weakening, the impacts are still not over, and this is because it's driving an atmospheric river over the European continent. Over northwestern Europe, this band of precipitation will continue moving over the region from about Scotland down into Germany before another low pressure approaches from the west on Saturday. By Sunday, the new low pressure area will be around the Faroe Islands before impacting Norway again with another round of rain, wind, and snow. Once that occurs, we see the storm track shift into a more zonal pattern as the high pressure continues to flatten out and weaken, and this will give way to the next big storm arriving around December 26th into the 27th. But now moving towards northeastern Europe, we're going to continue seeing an active pattern. Storm Pia is located over the region now bringing windy and snowy weather, but even after this system moves away, the storm track will continue favoring a constant flow of rain and snow into the region for the next several days, regardless of the high pressure zone over the Atlantic. In Iberia, if you're not a fan of gloomy and rainy weather, this high pressure is your friend since it's been responsible for keeping things relatively dry for most places in Portugal, Spain, and Northern Africa, and it will continue to do so for a few more days until the high pressure degrades right when that new storm impacts northwestern Europe next week. This will eventually open the door for rain chances by the end of December into January. Lastly, the southeastern portion of Europe will get impacts from the atmospheric river within the next couple of days, although it won't be as severe since the Alps will squeeze out a lot of the precipitation before reaching those areas. You might even see this very small low pressure area spin up over Romania on Saturday before quickly moving over the Black Sea and then brushing the Crimean Peninsula on Saturday evening. The stream of moisture will continue into Sunday, impacting Turkey and Georgia the most. On Monday, we see the zonal pattern begin to take shape as the high pressure flattens out. So before one last round of rain moves in on Tuesday, the weather pattern will calm down quite a bit for this part of Europe. Some of the heaviest precipitation will be across Germany, the Benelux countries, Scotland, Austria, Slovakia, Czechia, and Romania. And then on the other side of the Black Sea, Turkey, Georgia, and Israel all look to get heavy rain as well. Also note that the areas shaded in blue can expect some snowfall, but the heaviest snow is expected in the mountains of Turkey, Georgia, and Romania, as well as the Alps. That's going to be all for this forecast. This video was relatively brief since I just wanted to give you a quick update on a few things in the near term, but if you did enjoy this episode, consider dropping a like on the video and also subscribing if you haven't already. I'll be posting more forecasts soon, especially about the new storms and the pattern changes coming up for Europe as we get closer to January. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.